peace family this is shofar from full show energy work and i'm here to talk to you today about zestosterone and uh basically the purpose of the video is to to talk a little bit about one easy way to help raise uh testosterone you know um this video is um you know there's other videos out there that will be you know that, that you can look up to talk more about diet and uh, you know exercises or things of that nature that we can do as male gendered uh, or uh, you know beings or men um, that you can do to raise your testosterone level so I'm not really taking that approach if you need that type of information which again I, I believe in holistic approaches so that's something else as well but one thing to maybe look at and this is uh, to be a very quick uh, pretty succinct video I feel one thing to help raise the zest in life that's why I call it zestosterone is to just check and see if you're being honest with yourself around your sensuality as a man you know um, and what I mean by that is you have 200 to 300 million uh, sperms that come out in one ejaculation um, and that's just a average man that's not even including like a, a stud you know what I mean so who knows, maybe a really, truly super healthy man, who knows, he maybe might have 500 uh, million to a billion in one, one bust, you know what I mean? So if that's the case, um, one of the things with that is that's a lot of life force, a lot of energy that wants to be expressed, that wants to um, bring more consciousness, that wants more kids to be born and made on this planet. So that's that urge, that primal urge that's pulling you um, and, and pulls many men uh, into uh, wanting to connect on a primal physical level with as many women as possible. Now, um, one thing that we do ourselves a disservice is to count that as good or bad one way or the other. Uh, it just, it's just a happening, it's just something that is. And so, um, you know, and as we learn to do the microcosmic orbit or to spread our energy around our bodies, and you can watch my other books, and I mean my other um, videos and stuff on that a little bit, but we know how to take that primal energy and move it around our body so that now that passion, I mean that, that lust is now expressed in a different way as, uh, you know, passion. But anyway, getting back to how to uh, just simply raise our uh, testosterone level one of them is just simply be honest that you as a man you are attracted to multiple uh, women that doesn't mean you got to fuck them that doesn't mean you got to uh, actually pursue a relationship or anything like that but one of the first things is just to give expression to give expression in the in the the vocal area so to even you know put that out there and, and to say it and then also uh, to move in a place where you also maybe do uh, express yourself in a heart-based way, where you actually have an emotional connection to people. You know, if, uh, if there's ever been someone from your past that you still have a connection with and there is uh, a genuine, you know, just love there, not making this person your quote-unquote ex, but being able to stay in a loving relating with them and again it doesn't have to go into a, a physical intimacy but to have to x this person out your life um that also is another thing that can actually cut down or cut back your fire your energy that which we call testosterone or that fires that hormone called testosterone and then lastly it would be to maybe with honesty and with sincerity and with um a level of openness and, uh, with your your partner or partners to go ahead and physically express and to to be uh, you know with someone without cheating without lying without telling half truths and so these are the three levels to look at I got this got the basic idea or concept from that from a brother named uh, uh, Carl uh, Carl E Stevens aka Rock Kim say cool check his book out open relating but in that book, he has three levels of uh, talking about open relating, where you're basically being, or like I would like to call honest relating, but it's like you're, you're being open and honest, honest and open with um, 
I just realized that's H O. Some people would say you being a hoe, but uh, <laughs> but uh, no, you 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 being honest, honest and open. You're being uh honest about you know your sexual energy and um, about how you need to express it. And there's three levels to that. Again, the vocal level, you're just expressing that to your partner um, without hopefully any too many pans and pots flying around the house. You can just fucking be honest. And, and then also, and this is another thing, fellas, this is a whole nother video though, allowing for her to be able to be honest also about her sensuality. That's a whole nother thing. I'll make a video on that where you make womb, you make womb for her to open her heart and her sensuality more and be able to explore that um, in a safe container. Uh, so that's, again, another video. But anyway, first level is vocal. You're moving the energy in your quote unquote throat chakra, uh, getting that, that thymus and the parathymus and stuff to open, you know. Uh, the next level is the heart and you're, you're getting your heart to actually open and being able to emotionally connect with someone. And then the third level is actually physical intimacy. And the whole time you're being honest and, and the, the physical intimacy involves the sacral and root uh, chakras, some of the solar plexus energy as well, but you're being open and honest about your sensuality. And uh, that's a good thing. And that alone, just coming to those three levels of understanding um, will help the testosterone flow will help with your your radiance and your ability to magnetize those of you get fellas out there those of us who are struggling maybe to to meet women in the first place it's because maybe there's some dishonesty with ourselves and then with the woman or the women in your life about these things so just something to look at for introspection see if it resonates with you if it does cool if not keep it moving um, again I'm show far from full show energy work uh, if you like this video please like subscribe uh, share it uh, So again, I hope that makes sense, you know, how to raise your testosterone, your zest for life. Um, many of us men, man, we, we're, we're shells of ourself. Uh, there's, uh, I saw on the brother that I mentioned earlier, I saw on his Instagram page where they show and talk about how uh, men, you know, just in coming in contact with a baby, you know, and holding a baby, your testosterone level goes down. And men that are in monogamous relationships or long-term you know relationships and everything that the the testosterone goes down this is not saying that kids or monogamy are, is bad and that it may not be for you i'm not even that's not the point but the point is is just to have some level of honesty uh and openness with yourself and then with the lady or ladies that you that you have in your life where you at least admit that you have attraction outside of that and if you just allow yourself to have and express that energy you're fine that your testosterone level, aka zestosterone, will go up. Uh, put one other last way is Osho said that, like these beautiful flowers behind me, if I only see them, you know, let's say, uh, if I only see them but I never was to see a rose or a lily, or I wouldn't allow myself to look at a dandelion or a fucking sunflower and see the beauty in them. Only these behind me, these are the only flowers I see for the rest of my life. Eventually, I won't even see the beauty in them either, you see? And so when we, as human beings, if we limit ourselves to our partners only, we run the risk, and it's not to say that it's the only way. It can happen where you never lose that eye for that person um, and you focus on them. But we do run the risk of possibly um, losing our ability to see beauty in general because of closing ourselves off. So anyway, I hope this is helpful. Um, this is one easy way to raise your testosterone level. Yeah, my name is Shofar from Full Show Energy Work. And uh, I do uh, have a coaching that I do for men and women, uh, couples and singles. I do energy work um, with my lady. Uh, 
for couples and singles and then uh, do a series of uh, workshops, one called Hip Hop Kundalini, um, the four other, I mean, three other dope facilitators, uh, Intimate Relating, and then also I um, uh, got a new one coming up called Kiss, Keep It Simply Central. I also have a book, Sacred Orgasmic Living. So, and if you like this video, um, if it makes sense to you or if you want more information, just feel free to reach out to me on Instagram or uh, look me up. And uh, again, thank you for checking me out. Uh, keep shining, keep climbing. Peace.